fishyacker.com the original kayak rigging video series hey guys it's john ost from fishyacker.com every time i go to my local tackle shops i see some new type of fish attractant or fish scent that they're marketing uh, new brands new smells new types of products liquids gels you name it well these things actually do work they're not necessarily simply to attract fish, but they're there to mask any other existing smells on the lure that you're presenting to the fish. Think about it. What do you have on your hands when you're tying your lure onto your line? When you put a new soft plastic on a hook, those scents that are in your hand, your oils, your grime, uh, tobacco, you name it, food, drinks you've had, that's going to transfer onto that lure. So a lot of these scents are really there to help mask that in addition to possibly attracting fish, and they do work. So, there are a lot of options for you. Yes, you can go to the store, you can purchase one of these products is available. They do work, uh, but some may work better than others, and some of them are really quite expensive. This is a really good, easy, inexpensive option for you, and you very well may have all these things sitting in your kitchen right now, and it's not one of those nasty or stinky, smelly things that's going to make your wife really mad and want to kick you out of the house. Well, what do I use? These work really well, and they're very similar to a lot of products that are on the market. All you need is really three things. You need an empty container. You need some garlic salt and some extra virgin olive oil. Really, really easy. Take a container, pour some extra virgin olive oil in it, and then, depending on how thick you want it to make the slurry, then just put in some garlic salt. Think about it. You go to the store, you buy a package of soft plastics. What does it always say on it? It says impregnated with salt. Uh, a lot of the scents have garlic in it. Well, here you go. It's got both. If you look at the back of it, the two main ingredients, the two first things on here, number one is salt, number two is garlic. Think about it. It's also, if it's a garlic salt, it's really finely ground up. You can buy minced garlic, but it's not going to dissolve as easily into the olive oil. Think about it. It's really cheap, really easy. These things are probably already in a lot of those scents you get. What I have here is just an uh, uh, old plastic container that I had sitting around the house left over from something I had inside it. Uh, all I did was simply put some a certain amount of the extra virgin olive oil in it, poured about half a container of the garlic salt in it, made it a really thick slurry, shake it up real well. I've got a bunch of uh, soft plastic craws sitting in this, soaking it up. Uh, it works well, but again, this is something that's going to get those scents that you already have on your hands off of those lures when you're putting it on. Uh, this stuff works great. You may simply want to soak your lures in it like this for an extended period of time. It'll make them swell up a little bit, but it'll start absorbing it the longer they're in it. Uh, they may actually bleed some of the coloration off the lures eventually, though. But uh, but that works. Or you can simply take this stuff, and you can go to that same department store that you go to when you're buying your groceries. If you go down the like you know plastic container aisle, you'll see those little uh, spray containers or the Dollar Tree. Look kind of like a Windex bottle, but you can buy it without anything in it. Take that and get a smaller one. Again, just like what you see when you go in those. Uh, tackle sections at your store. You can pour some of this solution in it. After you tie your lure onto your line, simply spray it just like you would in a, a store-bought fishing tackle scent. Uh, it's a good idea, especially if you're already using uh, a garlic scent. Like I said, you can use other types of scent in a similar mess method. Uh, the extra virgin olive oil is a little bit thicker than water, so it's going to help it stick a little bit better to the lure, especially if you're soaking it in. Uh, and then you got to think that you got to, from time to time, you might have to shake it up some more, be, uh, make sure that your uh, your garlic salt's dissolved up into the the uh, liquid. But uh, you can do this with other types of things sitting around your house. You can kind of experiment with it. But garlic salt's really cool because if you're working on this, your wife's just going to think you're making pizza or garlic bread or something like that instead of some nasty, smelly, stinky, uh, you know, fish gut solution you may be using. Uh, I'm not saying it won't work, but if you're doing that, you might not want to do that in your kitchen. This is something you might want to do in your kitchen and, uh, you know, just going to smell your cooking Italian food. So, hope this tip helps you out. As always, please be sure to subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water.